وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Please explain the hadith that during the time of fitan, if someone has camel or sheep, should take care of that or fleeing to mountain passes. يأتي على على الناس زمان خير مال خير مال العبد. I guess you're referring to that uh, to this hadith that uh, a time would come, right, which is yushik. And يَكُونَ خَيْرَ مَالِ الْمُسْلِمِ Very soon or soon, the best of uh, the wealth of uh, the Muslim. Uh, I'm trying to remember. غَنَمْ uh, right? uh, يَتْبَعُ بِهَا شَعَفَ الْجِبَالِ وَمَوَاقِعَ الْقَطْرِ يَفِرُّ بِدِينِهِ مِنَ الْفِتَنِ That very soon the best of the wealth of the Muslim is some sheep or so that he follows the شعف الْجِبَالِ the 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 mountains passes and so on and the places where they rain fleeing uh, to save his religion from the fitan uh, this hadith is uh, an authentic hadith and it's uh, it's as it's mentioned that uh, saving one's religion is is the most important thing and uh, comes before anything in this life and since you mentioned this hadith uh, I want to say something which is a principle in life. Right? Something that never changes. You know that you have physical means and we have religious means. Physical means, like for example, you're seeking provisions, you're, uh, you're taking the means to eat and drink and to work and all of these physical means. And we have religious means. Religious means which is what's in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi religion. What comes first? Taking the physical means, the worldly means, or taking the religious means. The religious means comes first. And then the physical means. So if it's either or, then we put forward the religious means. So this hadith is an example of this. Everybody seeks provisions. Everybody wants to have some uh, means of sustenance because this is how we live on the face of earth. So, but then if your religion is compromised as a result of that, you should choose your religion and not to choose uh, money or status or whatever. So this is basically what it says. It doesn't say what time it's going to happen or can someone says, is it this time or that time? Uh, this hadith is to be explained the way it is like this. And this can happen to an individual. An individual uh, would and that's it also shows that there's no excuse in sins because of a of a place or or a situation that a person is in like if someone says i have no means except to commit haram because i'm living in this town i'm living in this country well the solution to this is not to allow him to commit the sin but rather to say well go somewhere where you're not able to commit the sin if a person is not able to, and this is a matter of life and death, then it comes to a different situation. But the norm is never to take the excuse of livelihood matters to compromise the deen, but rather to hold fast to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then to prepare oneself, even if it reaches that state, that a person would leave whatever place that he's in to protect his religion. That's why the hijrah is a continuous thing to the day of judgment. Barakallahu feekum.